Welcome to Fast Five. Today, I'm giving you five ways to look after the most important part of your EV, its battery. Ever since electric vehicles first hit the market way back in Victorian times, people worried about the lifespan of the battery. And while little has changed in the scaremongering department, most modern EV batteries have a long life. Like anything else though, there are ways of either reducing or improving that lifespan. If you look after your battery, it will look after you. If you don't, it won't. This is especially important when the battery is charged and discharged over time, since it will suffer from something called battery degradation. What is that? Well, over time, there are subtle changes at the molecular level that affect the battery's ability to hold charge. These changes are irreversible and result in gradual loss in range. If you've got a Nissan Leaf, you'll notice this as the dreaded bar drop on your battery capacity gauge. Given that no one wants their EV to lose capacity, let's kick off this Fast Five and see if we can't help you get more life from your battery. First up, try and avoid charging your EV when the weather's really hot, or when the batteries are very hot, particularly in the summer. Those hot days when you've had a long run on the freeway, that's the time to let your car cool down before you whack it on the charger. And obviously there are times when you can't do this, but if possible, charge at the coolest time of day or night. We use our charge timer to make sure that the charging starts overnight when the temperatures are lowest, so if you have that option, make use of it. And if you've got a garage or shaded area to park the car, slip that car in the shade. This is particularly important for cars without active thermal management. To be fair, modern EV batteries are way more heat resistant than the even ones produced eight years ago, but it's still better to avoid cooking them. And in at number two, let's take a moment to talk about rapid charging. Rapid charging is nowhere near the sin it was first thought to be. Indeed, an occasional rapid charge may break down films or crystals that have formed and actually, in the long run, prevent some degradation. That said, frequent rapid charging will shorten the life of your battery. The charging itself is probably less of a problem than the heat produced. Forcing a lot of current into the batteries very quickly causes them to get hotter, and as they get hotter, the degradation speeds up, and then you've got a less happy battery on your hands. So that's two quickies out of the way. You're keeping your car cool, and you're only rapid charging once in a blue moon. What else can you do? Well, third is a two-parter. Avoid storing the car fully charged for long periods of time, and avoid overcharging it. Ideally, you want to charge to around 95% most of the time, unless you're wanting that extra 5% to go the extra miles. Why? Well, lithium-ion batteries are subject to this really weird phenomenon, where the lithium migrates onto the negative anode, where it stays. Perhaps because it's nice there, or perhaps because it likes to break things. Anyhow, once it's there, it forms a film. And this irreversible film forming happens most at high levels of charge. Indeed, this weird effect is partly responsible for the much faster loss of capacity seen on Nissan's earlier LEAF batteries. Science? Don't you love it? Anyhow, various additives have been used to prevent these films forming, but it's a reduction of the effect, not its elimination, so it's better to keep your EV charged only most of the way if you don't need that extra range. And if you're going on holiday, if you can, charge it to just over half rather than all the way to full. So tip number four. If, like me, you love playing Russian roulette with the fuel gauge, you'll know the exciting thrill of getting home with the turtle light showing and your power restricted. But just like the risk of sucking crud up from the gas tank in an ice vehicle, pulling batteries all the way down to empty is, turns out, not that good for them. When lithium batteries are discharged, the anode can dissolve into the electrolyte. When you attempt to recharge the battery, these atoms form dendrites. Think sticky out stalagmites. And these can cause short circuits and reduce the capacity of the battery. So try and avoid those deep discharges. And if you do, whack the car on the charger as soon as possible to avoid it sitting with a discharged battery. And now in ruining your fun, tip number five. No, is that not what the show's called? I'm sorry, okay. So in at number five is our final recommendation and it's a tough one. Who doesn't love the wine as you floor the accelerator in an EV? That smooth feeling of infinite torque, there's no one that doesn't love it. No one. Except, of course, the battery. The battery hates it. I'll give you one guess as to why. Yep, it's that number one killer. Heat. Batteries, sadly, have internal resistance. And while in a healthy battery that resistance is pretty low, it's still there. So drawing current from a battery produces heat, and drawing a lot of current produces a lot of heat. And a lot of heat? That means early battery death. So I'm not saying you shouldn't have that EV grin, just use it judiciously. The traffic light Grand Prix is not something that should happen at every stop. So now I've ruined your fun, you can share your tips for extending the life of the battery. That's it, thanks for joining me, and see you next time.